What is going on guys? It's Saturn Reaper here and we are back again. Like I said, we are no longer doing screen record videos. I refuse to let this channel go downhill because of screen record videos because of no actual gameplay content. So in the background, I have a solo. Actually, it did not end up winning this, but you guys will see the first nine kills of the game or so. So decent amount of gameplay there for you guys to enjoy and a couple good plays there as well. But anyways, we're talking about tomorrow's update. Now, tomorrow we are expecting a very, very large update at that because it's going to be V8.51, which means it's a full update. Number two, we already know that the Avengers X Fortnite LTM will be coming to the game. Now, again, we already did a video kind of talking about are we going to get kind of cosmetics or are we going to get just like, you know, kind of items to use as weapons in the game, you know, as an LTM. We don't really know, and I really, really hope that they do manage to give us some form of Marvel Cosmetics, but we're not going to talk about that too much here. Another thing to note for tomorrow's update is that there is the potential of them reverting their previous changes. There's still a lot of spam of revert in the comment sections of their posts on Twitter, so it would not be a surprise to me if they did decide to revert and or make a new iteration of our solos, duos, and squads modes using the siphon. And a lot of different suggestions have been up. I've seen a suggestion for a slurp kind of effect where, you know, when you get a kill, you get 50 health back, but it comes over time, which I actually kind of like that idea. Also, the suggestion of, you know, just bring back the 40% and, you know, you can leave the siphon. That's fine. That's the only thing that people really, really miss. So, those are two suggestions. Obviously, there's tons of other things that could be coming. Another thing that's on the list of things that could be coming, again, these are all speculations, kind of things that aren't confirmed, uh, And because I don't want to go through, like, the bug fix list that I actually do have. Like, I do have a list of concrete things that could be happening, but those aren't as interesting as kind of, like, speculating on what could come. So, tomorrow, we could also be seeing an FOV slider. Now, I don't think that that would be for console, but to give you guys kind of an explanation of what that would be, right now, Fortnite plays at an 80 FOV field of view and, and when you hop on vehicles such as like the hoverboard it switches over to a 100 field of view that's when you're able to see your feet pretty much is the basic explanation and since they took away stretch res a lot of people are like hey add an fov slider we need that like a lot of people need the fov slider because you know there's no stretch we want to be able to see everything we want to be able to see more even on you know tiny screens and stuff like that which to me it's not a bad suggestion i 100 percent agree love to have an extra you know 20 percent of field of vision for playing Fortnite. Sorry about that. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. They haven't really said much about it or if they're going to support it, but we shall see where it goes in the coming future. We also still have, you know, the big vehicle overhaul that we had leaked a while back that should potentially still be happening. It might not even happen until season nine, but that could be also on the table. They could be doing some new iterations of the baller and then, uh, the quad crasher and the hoverboard. It's, again, that leak stated that we would need to relearn how we use those vehicles. So maybe there'll be a new kind of skill gap with those vehicles, but we just don't know. Once again, just a lot of things are up in the air. We also have our in-game, you know, bunker event thing that's still going on. We're probably going to get more leaked files for that and probably more concrete things now i'm gonna have to figure out how to cover that without screen recording because obviously screen recording makes it a lot easier for me to show you guys these you know random like pieces of blocks or whatever that we get but i think we might be able to get something concrete tomorrow and again i'm assuming the bunker has nothing to do with the avengers crossover at this point since it is happening tomorrow and the bunker only has two out of the five rooms it needs to open up and again there has been lasers and a lot of things that have been happening on the map you guys have probably seen also the volcano has black smoke coming out of it that black smoke is potentially going to be an eruption. Now, last time I checked, people were saying 20% for the black smoke. I think today could consider 30%, I believe, because the smoke keeps getting thicker. So 30%, 40%, 50%. So sometime next week, we could get an actual eruption kind of leading us closer to season nine, which is kind of crazy. And again, you guys have 13 days to do your challenges. If you guys did not know that, we have literally 13 days left in the season or less at this point. It might be 12 right now. Then... Another piece of information I have for you guys. I have so much information. It's kind of nice to talk about it this way instead of just like scrolling through things. The next piece of information that we have going here is that they're actually in the works of a 1v1 dual mode. Now, they have, I believe this has been confirmed for tomorrow's update, is that in creative they're adding in the ability for you to kind of like score your games and play multiple, multiple rounds. So that's what the 1v1 dueling kind of needs, and that's not in the game yet. So I think tomorrow, I believe that's what I read, tomorrow they've confirmed that there will be some form of that coming to the game, and then we'll be able to work its way into 
actual 1v1 duel. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, sub, share around, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.